Hi everyone, my name is Inga Stoffels from Cape Town, South Africa, here with an update on the Jocelyn Smith case. Now, Jocelyn Smith is a six-year-old who went missing in Saldana last month when she was feeling ill and was left in the care of her mom's boyfriend. When her mom returned home from work, Jocelyn was nowhere to be found and since then, the search has been ongoing for the little girl. Now, the community has jumped in, the community of Saldana Bay, they have been doing their part, searching, looking, searching in sewers, searching in shacks, searching in houses, looking for little Jocelyn Smith and Saturday night, new evidence came to light. Western Cape Police have found pieces of clothing with blood stains on them, allegedly belonging to the six-year-old Jocelyn Smith, and this was found in an open field in Saldana Bay. Among all the items was a knife and a blanket as well. This was found in the open field, and when I went onto Instagram after this has been posted by News24, the comments were divided. People were saying, yes, this is a breakthrough. This can bring us closer to finding Jocelyn. Other people saying, blood covered clothes. This can only mean one thing. And then we have people saying, you know, the timing is suspicious. Someone saying all of a sudden clothes show up now when they said they searched everywhere. Someone also saying two weeks later, very suspicious. Another person commenting saying, and this also with the increase of the rewards monetary value. So people are excited for the evidence found. People are questioning why is it being found now when you say you have been searching. Now, Police Minister Becky Taylor has also vowed to deploy all resources and he has committed to deploying all resources to the search of little Jocelyn Smith. Now, Jocelyn's mom and her boyfriend have also been kind of under attack on social media, but this went further when they were questioned and kind of almost physically attacked by an angry mob when community members have been saying that they have been part of the disappearance. They are involved in the disappearance of their daughter. Since then, they have been moved to a safe house and they will be there until further notice and the search for Jocelyn just continues. SA Navy also getting involved over there. SA Navy has joined the search for Jocelyn Smith and because of this new evidence that has come to light, it has been sent to the forensics laboratory for analysis. So the police spokesperson Malcolm Poggi says the investigation team descended on the scene where the pieces of clothing were seized as part of an ongoing investigation. The clothing will be sent to our forensic laboratory for analysis. Poggi also added that as the investigation is continued, no arrests have been made as of yet. That is the update on Jocelyn Smith for now. We are still praying that she is found. We are still praying that we, we know or find out what has happened and that this doesn't just go silent. That we find out what has happened to this little girl and the truth because people have also been pleading with the community to stop spreading false news on social media because this can be confusing. Some people posting that she has been found when she in fact has not been found. So I will be keeping you up to date with what is happening in the Jocelyn Smith case going forward.